Hello everybody and a huge welcome to the Menopause Lifestyle Solution Saturday Workout. So today you will need a band with handles and of course a short band too for your legs. You'll also need a couple of water bottles, two litre or even the smaller ones. Right, that's all we need and a mat. So make sure you've got a little bit of space. You don't need a lot of space for working from home. Just pop the handles, the band with handles on the floor. Keep the water bottles either side. Make sure they don't fall on you. Um, health and safety. That's all you're gonna need. So first of all, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a stretch. So roll those shoulders around. Just check not too stiff through the neck. Lift up through the top of the head. Keep the chest up, keep the shoulders back. Pull in the tummy and drop the head to one side. Same thing on the other side. Keep stretching the neck. Feel where the tension is. Walk the fingers out along the floor and roll those shoulders around. Give your arms a shake and you're ready. Okay, so we're starting lying down. Make sure you roll through the spine gently. Let's pull that out of the way, shall we? Just in case. So you're gonna grab the handles. Make sure you hold a little bit lower. So you wanna hold it lower down on the band or wrap that band around your wrist. Now the reason why is because we wanna keep the muscle under tension continually the whole time. So you're taking the arms out to the side, squeeze the glute, press the lower back into the floor, breathe in as you open, breathe out as you close. You're gently tapping the back of the arm on the floor. So you're not taking any pressure off that muscle the whole time. So you're trying to, tr trying to hit the center of the chest. You breathe out as you go up. You breathe in as you go down. I want to get, want you to give those handles a little bit of a squeeze to really activate the pectoralis major muscle. That's the main muscle going across the chest. So you breathe in and you breathe out to close. Breathe in and breathe out and keep going and squeeze. Excellent, easy, huh? You're now gonna superset that with a chest fly. So opening gently and closing, keep the movement nice and continual. Opening and feel the stretch through the chest, really important here to work on the arm. So the, the fat that accumulates when you do the bra up, you know the bit I mean. Well, that's the bit we're trying to aim on. So we've got toned arms, a toned section of the shoulder as well. It means that generally we're gonna have better looking chest area, better looking shoulder area. And having that muscle tone under the chest is so important. So just stretch it out for a second. And then we're gonna work on our abs. So why is the chest important? Well, you, so you're supporting the breasts, aren't you? So massively important to work your chest. And this is your reverse abdominal. So pop your hands just on your lower abs there and squeeze your bum, squeeze your legs together. And when you tap those heels, I want you to try and keep the back where it is. So keep the heels very close to the bottom there. That's gonna enable you to work your lower abdomen without putting too much strain through the back itself. So keep going through that movement. Keep the head up for the next set. Let's go, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Static contraction. Okay, hold it. You're gonna go up a little bit higher. Now put the hands back if you need support through the neck and hold that position and then relax it down. Good exercise, that one. Okay, so we're working on the biceps. You are gonna take the legs apart in order to increase, increase the tensity on the band. Hold onto the handles. And you're gonna take the arms, you can see they're not going all the way back down, about three quarters of the way down. And then as far up as you can go, you've gotta keep the back of the arm on the floor. This is a great way of activating your bicep. When you come to that top bit, just give the handles a little bit of squeeze and that will activate your bicep a little bit more. You don't wanna over grip it. And also, just as a safety point here, make sure you point the feet down towards the floor, otherwise that band is gonna ping up smack you on the nose so please be careful now here we've turned the hand position so we've got the knuckles coming inwards this shapes the upper arm beautifully hammer curls are really important to keep in ladies keep squeezing the glute keep squeezing the bum and if you need a bit more tension just take the legs a little bit wider which is going to put more pressure on the band keep the shoulder blades back and into the floor and squeeze the arm 
that's the one that actually yeah that causes a little bit of a lactate burn in the bicep itself but it gives you that beautiful shape through the arm okay and you're not going to put on muscle you're just going to have nice toned arms by working the biceps now here we're doing a reverse curl the reverse curl because our legs are coming in towards our body not the other way around okay so breathe out and breathe in Breathe out and breathe in. Keep a gap between the chin and chest and try and imagine that you're lifting your bum cheeks off the floor and giving them a little bit of a hold at the top there. All right, so try and relax the upper body. You can see that the muscles do get tight under the arm and through the shoulder there as you lift. Okay, that's absolutely normal, but you want to try and lift those glutes up a little bit more off the floor each time. Now we're going into transverse abdominals. So elbow to knee, we've all done these before. Come on, let's go, let's work this one. So the idea is to try and keep the head as still as possible with the twist going through the abdomen. Keep breathing through it, that's the one. Keep breathing through it, this is actually fun, this one. <laughs> okay, let's work those transverse abdominals. And it's so important to do different tummy exercises to really get the beauty of the whole abdomen working. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and then relax it down so you can do up to 20 of those so 10 on each side really okay so over you come you've got to get ready for the next exercise um, always make sure that your knees are comfortable on the floor and you've got some padding under your knees okay rotate your shoulders round pull your tummy in you're going to hinge literally from the hip when you're in position I want you to take hold of the water bottle retract the shoulders back as I said pull the tummy in and then just extend the arm. You can see there in the video that the triceps contracting as the arm extends. Now my stomach is pulled in, my shoulders are back. I'm sticking my bottom slightly backwards in order to flatten my back, okay? Make sure you breathe with it. So get the rhythm of the breath. So when the arm extends, you breathe out. When it comes back, you breathe in. And try and keep that rhythm going. Make sure that your knees are not uncomfortable on the floor. Actually, that really, really does work, my tricep. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. It just takes me a minute. All right, let's go. And retract the arm back, pull the tummy in, stick the bottom back. Every movement is precise. I want you to feel that pinch in the back of your arm, so in the triceps muscle as you go through the movement. So keep going and breathe. Ouch, this is starting to hurt. And again, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You've got it, lock it and in, and lock it and in. Keep the stomach in as you go through the movement. Don't let your tummy fall down. Yeah, that's quite a sore one. Okay, let's shake them out. Okay, the next exercise, you've got your hands directly in front of you. Let's keep the mop out of the way, pull the tummy in and keep the shoulders back. You're literally gonna go down. Can you see how small that rep is? But the idea is to gradually make your wrists stronger, the back of your arms stronger and make sure your elbows don't stick out to the side. So this is what it looks like from sides. So the elbow's actually going backwards and you can see when I straighten my arm, how the triceps muscle is flexing. Okay, you've got to keep really rigid. You can do this on your toes, but yeah, just be, be very aware of the position of your arm. Okay, next exercise. So you want to take hold of one water bottle only. You're going to hold it just above the chest. Make sure that you squeeze your bum, pushing it back into the floor. Now, the water bottle is above your nose. You're gonna reach back, hold just above the floor, then contract. Now, this is not an arm exercise, it's actually for your lat. So your lat is where the armpit is. If you put your hand where the armpit is, and as you reach back, you're gonna feel your back muscle activating to bring the arms forward. So I want you to concentrate on the muscle inside of the armpit. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and keep that rhythm going, all right? Squeeze the bum at the same time. Pull the stomach in towards the spine as you go through this movement, and keep going. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, 
breathe out and make sure you give it a little hold there all right next one so down on the floor onto your stomach you want your forehead on the floor and make sure you don't move it don't twist the neck so retract the shoulders back and down. Now we're working the rear delts, we're working through the traps into the trapezius. Your whole body, your lower body is relaxed. Your upper body is learning to pull your shoulders back. How many of you have posture that's slightly stooped forward? Yeah, this is telling your body to work the other way around. It feels a little bit weird. It doesn't feel like you're doing much, but you can actually, after a few reps, feel your scapula retracting back towards the spine. It's what I call a maintenance exercise. Now here, you're gonna look at the floor and just pull, push up onto your elbows. It's just really to get some mobility through your lower spine. Now lift the head very slightly, not too much, and see if your back will let you do this. You can always put your arms further out in front if it won't. It's quite a stretch, it's quite a lot of pressure through your middle spine area. So just be careful. Oh, we've got this one now. Now, this is the one I love. Put it on your legs. And you want to make sure it's a medium band. So you don't want it too tight because your body's warm. I'm sorry, you don't want it too loose. Your body's nice and warm. You're down on your elbows. You're going to take the leg up. Right. Now we're going to work the glute. Now pull the tummy in. Let's go. You're going to pulse it. Pull that stomach right in towards the spine. Keep your spine in line. So retract your shoulders back. Don't let the stomach pull down. So you've only got 15 reps there, but you've noticed they're small. All right. Now, the idea is to keep it small so you, it's really activating. Now, these type of exercises get the blood flow into the muscle. Now, pull the stomach in as much as you can as you extend that leg up. Okay, next exercise. You've got the leg coming in and out. Now, here I want you to push down through the elbows, pull the tummy in so that your back and your waist doesn't wiggle around all over the place, all right? So by pulling the stomach in, you're engaging through your core, you're pushing down through the elbows and go. That's it, go as high as you can. Do not let any pain go into your lower back. So breathe in as the leg comes in, breathe out as it extends up. You've only got 15. So just adjust the band, make sure it's in the right place and off you go. Breathe in and breathe out. So force the leg up, but pull the tummy in the whole time. Pull the tummy in the whole time. You want to have your stomach flat against your spine as you extend the leg up. All right. That's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until you've done your 15. Looking down at the floor, don't hyperextend the neck. Keep the tummy pulled in. Keep the tummy pulled in and then relax down. Okay, this is called child's pose. It's done in yoga. It stretches through the spine. It's quite a good one to rest in. Okay, we're coming straight forward. That's it. Up, 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 up. Lift, lift, lift. Now you're lifting, you've got to keep your tummy right in. You're lifting up with the glute. It's a really small pulse. Can you see? So you're moving about four inches and lift from your bottom as much as possible and extend the heel up towards the ceiling. It will gradually come down, but you want to try and keep a 90 degree bend at the knee. So go into a quick child's pose before we do abductor work. So this is called a fire hydrant, only 15 reps. It works the top and the back of the bottom. This is such a great exercise for your hips. So any of you that got tight hips or you've got a weakness through your hips, maybe you've got osteoarthritis, this is a, a beauty, okay? It is gonna help your hips beyond anything else. Strengthening the hip area, very important. And again, into child's pose after you've done your 15 reps. So we're gonna turn around. Actually, it's quite, it's quite tiring, this, <laughs> this little workout on a Saturday morning. Let's throw that one away. Okay, right ladies, hug those knees into the chest. You're going to hold that between 10 and 20 seconds. Okay, so you hold it between 10 and 20 seconds, depending on how much time you've got. This one stretches the hip. Just try and relax the upper body as you push the pressure on the knee. If you don't get enough stretch, just draw the legs in towards the body and try and relax the shoulders down. So try and relax the shoulders down. Stick the leg up and pull it in if you've got more flexibility. And try and push the knee out at the same time. That's it, hold it there. Here we go, ouch. Okay, right, same thing on the other side. Whatever you do on one side, you do to the other. That goes with your training, that also goes with your stretching. First of all, 
gauge how much stretch is in the hip. Try and keep both hips in the same angle so you don't twist, all right? So if you tighten this through the hip, you're gonna notice your body moving more. All right, so pull that leg in towards you and press on the knee as much as you can here to increase the stretch. Ouch, ouch. Hold it there. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. So whenever it gets tight, just hold it in position and breathe through it. Same on the back stretch, which we're doing now. Let both legs come to one side. Hey, hey. And then take the hand up and push the knee down. Push the knee down, stretch. Breathe through this. Breathe through this. So your aim is to really keep both shoulders on the floor whilst getting that flexibility through your lower spine. As you become older, the hips become stiffer, as does our lower spine area, prone to injury as well, especially if we haven't stretched when we were younger. So drop those legs over as far as you can. Lift the top knee up, take the hand and place it on the knee. Gently push down. Do not overdo it. You want to try and keep the other shoulder on the floor, so the opposing shoulder on the floor. And that will give you a beautiful stretch through your spine. Breathe in and breathe out and try and relax through it. Okay, now slowly come out of this, drawing the legs together. Don't forget to subscribe to my channels and also find me on Instagram.